What's going on guys? This is Muzza. Um, thought I'd give you a little FaceTime before today's video. Today's video is how to pwn with the M16. Uh, talk about weapon stats, talk about how I feel about the game. I've also got another video up on the Team Noble channel. You can check that out in the description of this video. Just click that little bottom bar right there. And uh, you can check that video out as well. So I hope you guys like the video. I'm going to go to the chiropractor because I have a really bad back. And uh, we're going to see if we can get some adjustment done. So that's it. That's all. I'll see you guys later. What's going on guys? This is Muzza Fuzza. As you can see, we're playing some more Call of Duty Black Ops. Today we're going to be using the M16 with dual mags, Hardline Pro, Slide of Hand Pro, and Hacker Pro. And it's going to be some domination on Hanoi. I'm playing with discretions, I'm playing with Fuzza Muzza, and I'm going for cross map Tomahawks. Because uh, that's what I do. I've been, I, I put a Tomahawk on every single one of my classes. And uh, doing that has gotten me a lot, lot more cool Tomahawk kills. Um, and I don't really like grenades anyway, so... Uh, this gameplay, basically, I'm using the dual mags, which gets me a lot more extra ammo, which is really, really useful. And uh, for the first, probably, the first half, or maybe even more than half, uh, of this game, I don't do very well. I have a, a tough time getting a good kill streak going because I'm using Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, Dogs. Um, and I think by the middle of this game, I'm like something like 17 and 4 or 17 and 5. And... Um, and then I just pick it up and just completely destroy in the end. Uh, actually, no, 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 that's not how this game went. I had forgot to put on Blackbird this game. Um, I don't know if this guy has ever happened to you guys. Uh, I was switching up my kill streaks, and the game started while I was changing my kill streaks. So for this gameplay, I only had two kill streaks on, and it's Chopper Gunner and Dogs. I didn't even have a Blackbird, so it's kind of funny. I only had two kill streaks on this entire game, and I actually still end up with a pretty solid score. Uh, could have been better if they wouldn't have shot my chopper gunner down, but a lot of people run Strellas now, and it feels like more and more often my chopper gunners and my gunships just get taken down really, really fast. Because uh, people people could progress and evolve, and they they uh, they learn that it's really, really easy to shoot down air support in this game. It just kind of sucks because it makes it harder for me to get like big gameplays. Um, so when I get in lobbies with noobs, it makes it a lot easier. But uh, today we're talking about the M16. You can see the stats on your screen right now. There we go. It's a uh, 40 damage per bullet, so you can keep kill people with one burst. Um, but this gun is really, really based on connection. It's kind of hard. Sometimes I'll burst people twice and they won't die, and then other times I'll get them with a one burst. Um, I think it's really connection based. This entire game is really connection based. If you don't have a four bar, uh, you're probably not going to do as well as you could if you had a four bar, uh, which kind of sucks for my position because my internet sucks. I live in the middle of Montana where we have. No Fios, we have no good upload speed. The best upload speed I can even get in this town is like one upload, and that's what I'm at right now is like 0 0.9 upload, I think, and like 12 download or something. Um, and I'm paying like 60 or $70 a month for that. And uh, if I could get better upload speeds, that would be really nice, or like a better ping, um, so I could get four bar more often. But I, I rarely get four bar, I'm usually on a three bar. And uh, I don't have too hard of a time getting gameplays, but it would be nice to have a 4-bar. And if any of you guys have insane like internet, like Fios or uh, any of that crazy internet, um, you guys will probably definitely know that uh, when you do get host or when you do get a 4-bar, it makes a big, big, big difference in this game. And the M16 is one of the guns where it makes a huge difference um, because it's all about landing 3 bursts and being accurate. And I play on 10 sensitivity, so the burst guns aren't really my cup of tea. Uh, I do really, really like the G11, but the M16 is not my thing. Um, just the mix of connection and playing on a higher sensitivity, I, I just don't like the M16 uh, in this game anyways. In Call of Duty 4, however, the M16 is a, an amazing gun. Uh, M16 with red dot really can't be touched by any other gun except for maybe the MP5 with a red dot. Um, it used to just be like a fucking laser gun. You would one burst people across map. It was basically a sniper rifle. Uh, I remember I would see kids running around all the time. And uh, game battles, it was all over the place, just like either a Red Tiger or a Blue Tiger M16 with a red dot, and that was how you did it. Um, but nowadays in this game, uh, I've played with a lot of different custom reticles. I've played with like uh, the red dot, the reflex, dual mags, extended mags. Um, this game I'm using the iron sights, which I really don't like, to be honest, because they're just kind of weird to me, and it kind of it feels kind of blocky and chunky. Um, but I do like a red dot on it, but for this game, uh, I was using the iron sights, and I managed to do decently well. Uh, so I thought I'd put it up. Um, as you can see right here, I'm just dying over and over and over. I'm 11 and 4 here, and then I think I bring it up to 17 and 5. And then uh, once I die one more time, that's my last death this game. And uh, I finally end up picking it up and getting a good kill streak and helping out my team with my chopper gunner and my puppies. Um, 
But that's about it as far as this weapon goes. I would definitely recommend don't use this gun unless you're happy with your connection or uh, you like burst weapons because in this game you're going to see lots and lots less uh, lots and lots less one burst kills. Like you won't be getting as many one burst kills as you usually would um, like in a Call of Duty 4 setting. Uh, so the G11 is definitely a better gun than the M16 in this game, but I do like it and I probably will do another gameplay or two with it. Um, I think everybody on my team does well this game, like Discretions and Fuzza, I think we all do really, really well this game. The other team just gets completely demolished almost the entire time uh, we have them in a spawn trap, so that's good. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Map pack's coming up, which means I'm going to have to play a lot more Black Ops. Uh, I'll hopefully be getting you guys some footage from maybe each individual map. I hope they put some of the maps into wager matches too, because that would be a lot of fun to play some new maps on wager match. Because uh, I like playing High Rollers a lot. High Roller Live is probably one of my favorite things to do. Uh, those live commentaries are a lot of fun, and High Roller is a lot of fun, too. Um, I have a personal question for you guys. You can answer this in the comments. Let me know what you would like to see. Um, would you guys like to see lots and lots of Black Ops content from me? Or would you like me to go the variety route? Would you guys like to see a lot of other games or a lot of Black Ops? Because um, I can do basically either or, but I can't do both. If I am going to do a lot of Black Ops and buy all the map packs and make lots and lots of Black Ops content, um, I'm going to prestige and I'm going to go to 14th prestige and I'm going to get the gold guns and such. Um, but if I don't, I'm going to be playing lots of other games, like I'm going to pick up some N64 games for my Wii, I'm going to play some GameCube games, I'm going to play some Super Smash, and I'm going to bring a lot more variety to the table. i got like Bayonetta live commentaries that I want to do, I want to play through God of War 3, and uh, there's a lot of new games coming out like Bulletstorm and Portal 2, uh, Twisted Metal, Mortal Kombat. I want to make content for all those games. I want to expand this, be an entirely like gaming channel, I want to do reviews, I want to do unboxings, things like that. And uh, if my whole focus is on Call of Duty Black Ops, I don't think I can do that. Um, but from the way it's looking with videos, it doesn't matter if it's Black Ops or not. Uh, of my last seven uploaded videos, my World at War Vendetta Sniping Mission live commentary is the most viewed video. So Black Ops isn't really like my most viewed thing anymore, so I don't really have any ambition uh, to do it. I don't have a lot of fun on this game, it's just... The, probably the most stale Call of Duty game to me. I might hop on some more Modern Warfare 2 if I don't get noob tubed or commandoed and maybe get some content for that again because I didn't really touch much uh, Modern Warfare 2. I kind of quit that game really, really early. I quit it around the time of the third map pack. Uh, third map pack or second map pack? I don't know. Uh, one in, Somewhere in there, I quit like four months before Black Ops came out. I quit Modern Warfare 2. Um, but I don't really want to do that with Black Ops. I kind of keep want, want to keep playing, but I just wish it was fun to me. There's a lot of different issues I have with this game, like Second Chance, Connection, um, stale, boring-ass maps, uh, $15 map packs again. That is, they're only going to have four maps. And the four maps that are coming out, I don't know if you guys know this, but there are four maps that they, just, they were going to ship with the game, but they deemed them not good enough to ship with the game, so they decided to sell them to us instead. Uh, so that kind of pisses me off. Um, this game's wrapping up here. I finally get my last big kill streak, get my puppies, and get my chopper gunner. Call it in, speed through this chopper gunner because I barely get any kills at all. And uh, this game is wrapping up. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That's been How to Pwn with the M16. Uh, I really like doing this series, and I don't know if I'm going to play Black Ops a lot more. I guess we'll just see. Uh, next gun is going to be the Enfield, I think. And uh, we'll be talking about some stats and good stuff in that. And I got a lot of really, really solid gameplays coming up, so be sure to stay tuned. Um, if there's anything variety wise, like any crazy games you want to see me play, leave them in the comments along with any like campaign missions or anything you want to see me do live commentaries through. I love live commentaries, they're a lot of fun. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Final score was 44 and 5. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up because it helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.